All right, what's going on dudes and welcome back to another episode of Trollcraft. Now I read the comments on the last video and there seemed to be a bit of a common theme. People saying, yo Jordan, look at your base. Now look at Ian and Craners. Look at the progress they've made. Look at what they're doing over there and feel bad about yourself. Okay, you haven't done enough. You need to catch up. You need to make some progress. And quite frankly, after reading those comments, I completely disagree. I think it's great going into the mine, mining resources all over the place, manually putting in that elbow grease. I'm just kidding. I made some freaking progress. Oh, you want to see the pro- oh, you want to see the progress? Oh, progress has been made. Allow me to show you. Well, I mean, it's obviously, it's similar to, and I'm sorry, I just skipped right over the signs that have to do with the troll that we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at in a few minutes. Looks like Craner did a thing to my wife. How dare he? I put a sign above her saying, kidnapping welcome. Actually, it's removed now because of the ME system. But how dare he listen to the sign? It was all about reverse psychology. I thought if I put that sign there, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have gone and done anything, but he did. It says, hello, spooks. How you do, Wignan, uh, today, sir? I stole your weirdly named girlfriend. Check the scoreboard if you want to see her again. Lol. Okay, so, well, we know who did it. It's Craner. Well, we'll check the scoreboard in a moment, but let me show you... Beautiful, beautiful progress. Okay, so we got magical crops. You know how magical crops work. I think we got farming stations. We got we got ender chests. Rather than pumping everything through the pipes as Craner did it, we, we got freaking ender chests. And boy, does it look like a symphony when I open up one of them. Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful like you open up one they all... I don't know. I, I like that. Anyway, we got Manichio. We got Lapis Lazuli. We got Manulin. We got Diamonds. Let me, let me just show you what we're generating over here. It's been about two days or a day and a half since I set this all up and I've been... I've just been letting it go. Now we've got some growth pulsars as well that I've accumulated over the time and as I add the growth pulsars, it sort of exponentially grows the amount of growth pulsars that I'm able to make. So here we go. Here's our growth pulsars. I keep wanting to say pulsars. That's like a, a cosmic galaxy forming or something like that. It's pulsars, but I, I'm going to keep saying pulsars because why not? It's a cool word. So this is under the Manichio, getting it to grow real nice and good and quickly. This is, uh, we got a couple layers under all of the other crops, and the diamonds also have quite a few layers underneath as well. Made this elevator down here just so we can get down easier, and I uh, very thoroughly excavated this place just so that, you know, we have a lot of space to drop down the, the pulsar, pulsars. I'm never going to get this straight. Um, as we want to expand, and expand we shall, because take a look. Take a look at my resources. Look at it. Minishio. Okay, so uh, we got we got 4,000 and counting, and that's just been in like the last hour or so. Um, we have 7,005, because what I do is as the Minishio gets way high and starts taking up a lot of space in the drives, I convert it into blocks. We have 7,500 blocks, each of those containing nine Minishio, which means we have over 63,000, more like 68,000, um, if I mathed that correctly, yes, uh, Manichio. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of growth pulsers. What I've also done is I've gone and gotten a lot of diamonds, except they haven't actually dealt with the diamonds in a little bit, so we need to go ahead and turn these into... We got a lot of diamond essence. We need to turn these into diamonds and then those into diamond blocks just so we can save stuff. It's freaking... This is glorious. Look at how glorious this is. It's just diamonds. Just diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. I know I could automate the crafting, but I actually appreciate... The process of converting these into diamonds just feels good because it's just all the diamonds I'm getting. So now it's freaking almost 4,000 diamonds. We can convert those into blocks if we want to, except we need them in regular diamond form in order to make the growth pulsers. Then also, okay, you're wondering, so how is this staying powered so it, so it stays on forever even when you're off? Well, we have the chunk loader, so these chunks are always staying loaded. We're on a server. The server's always running 24-7 as opposed to Sky Factory, where it's only running when I'm on the server when I leave the game on. Okay, so we have that going, and then, and then, and then we come over here. You, wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, so we got Yalorium. You can tell I'm excited right now. So the Yalorium is going, we, we got it generating over, over yonder in one of those places over there. And then what happens is that when the Yalorium Essence gets harvested through the Ender Chest, goes into here, import bus into the ME system, ends up in here. But then what do I have over here? Well, I have an export bus. Now this export bus is saying, oh, is there yellow right in there? Okay, well, we put it into the crafter. Now this goes up to nine. Once this goes up to nine, it creates that recipe, produces four yellow right. And then that goes right into the furnace right below it, smelts that import bus right back in. And then what happens is that I've also got another export bus here, which detects the Yalorium, except this chest is completely full because it's been going. So we have a lot of Yalorium and then that ender chest goes over to here. And then this ender chest pumps that Yalorium right into the access port of the reactor. So we got full Yalorium there. This thing is now up to nine. 
Uh, fuel rods, so we've, we need to mark off that challenge. But this thing, it only ever goes up to 5%. And then once it hits 5% there, it boots out a, uh, a thingamadoo hicker, one of the cyanite. That goes into the import ender chest, which goes back into the ME system. And then I have some cyanite right over here, 243 and counting. That's how many it's gone through over the course of the last, well, a day or two. Then your boy has some Zavicio armor so he can fly just normally. We don't need the jetpack. We don't need the, the 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 stuff anymore, but that's because I have so many Manichio, and then I have the Master Infusion Stone, and then I just have everything. Then we started some Thomcraft stuff over here. We got some sugar cane going on. We got it were really basic in Thomcraft, but I want to get the warded the, the warded wand cap thing so I can make blocks invincible and just everything is going pretty well. Then we we have to make the infusion altar at some point, probably in here. The infusion altar is going to be a big undertaking, but this thing that has to be done and then i also made this cleaver which would be heads at 50 percent which is how i could get zombie heads so i could freaking do do all the the z logic controller things for the farming stations and then we have this made this so i could make the magnum torch so no mobs are spawning around here and it's freaking freaking progress Woo! i think that's about it all right that was six minutes of pure unadulterated progress for you right there there might have been there may be more there may be more that I'm forgetting, but that's that's what's happening. So we got to mark off a few achievements here, right? A few achievements. Woo! Let's see. What do we what do we got to do? We got to mark off. <laughs> we haven't done that. We have not done that. We've done the the passive with nine fuel rods. But a bing, but a boom. Be able to deposit. And I don't see. I don't know how you can deposit from anywhere on the island into your ME system because the wireless has a range and it's not infinite. So, unless you mean like, oh, maybe I carry around an ender chest with me and then I can do it that way. So, theoretically, yes, I can. Because I think I have an ender chest in here, right? Yeah, I have one of you, which is, you are, yep, you're on the deposit frequency and these are locked, so they're, they're all the diamonds on it. So, yes, I can check that off because if I take that anywhere on the island, I can deposit something into my ME system. I just can't uh, retrieve it. But this is deposit only, so I can. Uh, mark that off. Okay, so that's two achievements. Zine, I hope you're counting right now. Uh, demonstrate now. I don't have that understanding yet. Um, let's see. Automate cobblestone compression using your ME system. See, I feel like I should be able to check that off because my cobblestone compression is pretty good and automated. It just doesn't necessarily utilize my ME system, but it, it works very well. And I can import it in at a moment's notice should I want to do that. So I feel like that's a check off, honestly and interface your ME system with other non-AE machines, which we have done because of the smelteries and this stuff here, and Ender IO and all of that. Uh, boom, so we can check that off. So that is four achievements that we have gotten right then and there. There might be more that I can check off, but that's what I have off the top of my head. Not too shabby. Oh yeah, by the way, all these powered by Tesseracts, you know why I can make a lot of Tesseracts? Because we have Enderium, freaking 7,000, my goodness. Let's convert that into some ingots there bud um so you know we got some we got some tesseracts for days we've got we got freaking ender pearls for days oh my goodness so we enderium i have some enderium in there enderium left over from making all the freaking look at tesseracts and it's, it's crazy life's crazy dude and then we've always got a minimum of like over 2k rf per tick life's good now i the only thing i need to do still is lock my tesseracts so they can't be um no one can can steal from them unless ah, whatever and eh, wh whatever okay anyway sorry so much progress then now we have trolls to focus on except before we do the troll oh yeah i have the thermometer i can scan everything i know everyone's real excited about that one if you've been around for a while scan all the things oh yeah yeah, yeah. this has another um this has another modifier. Wait, does it have another modifier? I can't remember. Or do do I still need to, because I made the golden apple. Oh, no, I need to grab it really quickly. You, and then the diamond real quick, diamond block. This way, we can add another modifier, and then, then put the quartz on the thing, and then the sword will do, like, more damage, and it'll, it'll be super sweet. Can I do this in here? I can't remember. Can I just do that, and then one more modifier? Yes, yes, your boy can indeed. And then we do that, and then, and then, and then we do that. Okay. Sorry, I thought it was I thought it was three, not four or four, not three, but that's okay. That's okay. Even cheaper, even better. Oh, dude, and then this thing does so much damage. Nine hearts of damage, fifty percent chance of beheading. What we're gonna be doing uh, in just a few minutes after I tend to the Craner issue is uh, we're gonna be going and getting some Wither heads so that I can fight a Wither myself and then uh, have a Wither ready for someone else. Uh, you know? Okay, so what's going on here? in the place hmm what have you done 
What have you done? That is no, what? That's that's a sheep. That's a sheep. Um, for Sunday from Cr Craner. That's okay. Does this have nothing to do with me? Is there something over? What What are you? Whoa! What's wrong with his house? Oh my God! How? What did you go to the scoreboard? You told me to go to the scoreboard. What did you do? What did you? I don't. What did you? I don't know what you did. Where is my waifu? I don't know where she be. Also, oh my goodness, what happened to your house? Yikes. Uh, you knocked a hole in my scoreboard, but didn't bother to fix it. I knocked a hole in your base and didn't bother to fix it. But so were even, I added a chest to your roof. That's pretty cool. With... Uh, oh yeah, potion of healing that says poison under it. It's a that's a zany a zany troll right there. It's a good pun, zany. Get it? Cause it's a zine, zany troll. Okay, and did he fix his smeltery? Oh, how dare he! How dare he! All right, so he. I wonder if I wonder if that has anything to do with. Are you? Is, is she inside? She inside the scoreboard? I don't want to break the scoreboard. She in it? Oh god, oh god. Don't do don't do bad things. <gasps> There's a sound muffler, a computer case. Uh-oh. A secret wait, a secret chest with soul sand in it. What? I'm so confused right now. Is this What? Is there more? Is this, does this have anything to do with what I should be finding? Wait, that's a chest? This is all chests? What's, well, this is weird. This is some weird, weirdness going. That's not a chest. That's, okay, that's a chest. That's not it. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Let's just replace that back in. Okay. <laughs> where is my, where is she? I forgot her name. Where is she? I care about her a lot. I don't, uh. Freaking, I don't, oh, wait, wait, George, Georgine, were you, were you in the, ch were you in the chest and, and the, la oh, okay, wait, why can't I pick you, oh, there we go, we're good, wait, what happened, what just happened, where, where did she go, wait, George, George, Georgine, where, what the heck happened? Why did you disappear? I'm so confused! Uh, so I thought maybe disconnecting and reconnecting would fix it, but no. Jo Georgine is, uh, she's still gone. And I don't know what happened. She just morphed into like another, another parallel reality or something where she's invisible here, another dimension. I don't know what happened, but in any case, yeah, okay, so, so Craner just stored her in the in in a chest in the scoreboard I got it but now she's gone was that all part of the plan I wonder if he had like a command running that as soon as she ended up back in the world she'd disappear I don't know I'm real I'm genuinely confused on what happened there okay well anyway uh, I'm gonna harvest some some crops real quickly oh you know what that I've completely forgot that's what I was gonna do is I was gonna make a whole bunch more growth pulsars because I have, I have all the ingredients for them, and I figured, why not? Well, I add some growth to, to different things. Anyway, I just wanted to harvest crops real quickly. Let's do that. Just, God, having the Zavisio armor and being able to do real flying just makes life so much easier. I love you, Zavisio. You're, you're, just, you're just the best. You're just the best. I just want to let you know that you're the best, and I appreciate you. You're so cool. I wish I could be like Zavisio, you know? All right, so let's get rid of that. Let all the stuff funnel into there. Good stuff, good stuff, and back to I know I could I know I could use one of the farming stations to harvest wheat and it would be just far more effective, but I like the fact that I made that manually you Hi! How are you? Oh it's it's good to see you. I guess you warp to your home point when you're far away. Wow. You had me really concerned. Hello, dear. How's your day? Well, you know, it's going better now that I, I mean, I, I might have said earlier that I didn't really care that you were gone, but I, uh, great to see you. <clears throat> great to, <clears throat> my voice is giving out. I'm so thrilled to see you that I just can't even speak anymore. Wow. Oh, boy. You and some soul sand and 
golden lasso, and I found that a lot quicker than I think he probably envisioned that I would, and that's not a problem. Oh, can I scan you, Georgine? No, can, further back. Can I scan you? Can I scan you? Nothing can be learned from this. Excuse me, it's not a this. It's not a this that's a human, okay? Anyway, um, and one of the one of the things that I was trying to scan earlier was saying you need to learn about people first. Well, I'm trying to learn about people, and it ain't working. Ah, <sighs> anyway, whatever. Um, we want to keep the thermometer, especially as we go into the nether here, which is what I'm going to do because we need to get some freaking wither heads. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. How many, how many damages do you do? You do plus 11 attack damage. Not too bad, not too bad. All right. I'm about to go into the nether. This is for you. This is for my family. And I was actually going to focus on Ian this time because we haven't gotten Ian in a while. So we need to get six. We need to get six wonderful, lovely wither skulls while also uh, not dying. So it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh, I can turn into a pig man too. You're not mad at me, right? You're not mad. You're not mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Do not be mad. He wanted to hit me. He really did. But I got Zavicio with your boy, which is pretty good. Okay, so let's go and turn into a pig man. So we got the fire resist. Still be flying though. And then I just need to like zoom zoom over here. I guess I probably should have. My hang glider would have would have made it faster. Definitely would have made it. Faster. Okay, we'll be right back in just a moment after these messages. Okay, so we're here. I seem to be like having a bunch of terrible luck at the moment and not getting skulls from wither skeletons and not that many wither skeletons seem to be spawning all over the place. So I don't know what gives, but if that could change, it'd be really nice. It'd be pretty cool. Hey, Blaze dudes, how are you doing? Gotten a Blaze man head. Just don't seem to be getting any wither skeleton skulls. Hey, would you look at that? We got a wither skeleton skull fanta. Okay, you're done. You're done. Super, super annoying how you unload yourself when you get far enough away. Give me that gas tier. Mmm, two gas tiers. Lovely. Do like me some gas tiers. Okay, so one down. Five more to go. I guess uh, just gonna have to keep going for a little while. And can you not go off the edge? I don't think you dropped the skull off the edge, but seriously though, no, don't. Okay, you bat. Wisp, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta scan you. Can I scan you? Can I scan you? Can I scan you? Let me scan you. Let me scan you. Let me, to understand this, you need to study empty things. Well, there's a lot of emptiness out there in the world. Oh my god, look at all the skeletons. Look at all the- nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh god, so many decided to spawn though. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Just don't fall off the edge. Just don't fall off the edge and give me your skulls. Thank you. Ow, don't do that. Okay, skulls? Why does the percentage have to be below 50%? Ow, I'm withered. Okay, where are the other dudes? This dude right there. Don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Come off. I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. Come off the ledge. Okay, you're done. No, stop being annoying. Get off the ledge. Off the ledge. Thank you. Give me your... Give me your head. My goodness. Get out of here. I don't know why they're being so stupid when it comes to using beheading. I have beheading. Give me. Give me, give me. Well, I at least we got one. All right, I'm going to be here a little while. Except, oh, thank goodness, they're all starting to spawn. This is great. Hey, man, how you doing? Oh, you got some solid armor, bro. You got some solid armor. That's cool. That's cool. Let me take you out real quick. Let me take you out. Did you get another? We didn't get another, but we got more. Oh, we did get another. Sweet. Okay. 33% of the way done. Thank goodness. Okay, anyway. All right. Now that they're spawning all over the place, which is they've just decided to for some reason, which is pretty great, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I need to do, and we will be back with six wither skeleton skulls. More like three more. All right, there we go. Number three, boom, we can spawn a wither now, and it is gonna, it's gonna be awesome. All right, BRB. Well, 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 it looks like we have ourselves six wither skulls, so we get one for me and one for Ian. Now, I do realize this is probably more helpful to Ian than, than it does to hurt him because he probably doesn't have a division sigil, and so I'm just giving him a free one. But at the same time, I think the reaction of just like randomly being teleported into a wither that's spawning is, is it's kind of worth that. But we'll see. I mean, hopefully the whole thing will work. The idea is I figured I would, if I can find my way back to the portal, I figured that I'd make like a big obsidian box somewhere in the ground because we have a bunch of obsidian that we can make due to the magical crops. And then from there, I repurposed the command block that was going to teleport him to the edge of the map because that didn't really work out and it would teleport him into the obsidian box. He lands in the obsidian box, triggers a switch, causes an autonomous activator to put the last wither skull 
onto the the wither formation, right? And then a wither spawns and he has to battle it or get blown up by the initial explosion because he'll be in a small obsidian box of a room. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, let's jump back and we'll return in a moment. Okay, so inventory is all sorted, and I just opened up the couple uncommon treasures that I had in my inventory, got a potion of strength out of it, so I'm like, all right, we may as well use that for the wither. Why not? I don't know how useful it's going to be. Hopefully this will take it out pretty quickly, but just in case. So, again, I'm just going to go kill one now so that I have the division sigil because I want that. It's going to be useful for stuff. And then we'll set up the room for Ian directly afterwards and uh, it should be good. So I'm thinking, I don't know, let's probably go down just really deep into the mine in order to, to fight the dude. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So I'll just drop on down to sort of where I've been mining everything or, oh, you know where I could do it is just in one of the areas I've just vein mined a lot. So it's kind of a, a far, far away enclosed area. We just don't want it to be like a big wide open area. Obviously, if at all possible. So maybe just putting him down like right into in here. It's a lot of lava in that area, so I'm not sure if that's a good idea. You know what? We'll just do right here. Here's where we're gonna put the wither. Alright, wither number one. Are you are these ore of randomness? This is what the what the what the heck? This is new. This is hold on. Whoa, 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 that was weird. What in the... I am so confused. I don't know what these are. It's like they replaced something due to an update? Ugh, anyway. All right, wither time. Let's do it. Oh, I could scan some things down here. Nope. Nope. Or random... Nope. Nope. Doesn't work. Okay. This is good. It's gonna be like, you need to learn lots of other stuff before you can study any... Oh, okay. I gotta study crystals. Fine. Whatever that is. We'll look into it in a, in a little bit once I'm back in the uh, Thomcraft grind. But... All right, I hope I'm ready to do this. I hope I don't make a terrible mistake, but I figured, you know, Zavicio plus a good sword plus strength potion, probably gonna be okay. All right, it's wither time. We're not getting any world records because we don't have a super duper bow, which I will, I have been planning on making at some point. Super duper duper, duper 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 Tinker's Construct bow. Um, hey buddy, yeah, what are you doing? Pretty good? I'm gonna kill you real quick if you don't mind. Uh, oh, you know what I should have done is I should have turned into like a wither, a wither skeleton. Um, come on, don't die, don't die, Gordon, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, it's close. Okay, he's dead, but I'm also, how many say, oh, I might die, I might die. I'm probably gonna die, actually. Shoot, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because wither. Oh, God, dang it, I'm dead. Ah, shoot. We'll be right back. I just gotta get the division. God dang it. I can't believe I did that. Shoot. I should <laughs> I should have made a bow, honestly. At least we killed it. It's fine. It's cool. We're good. Alright, we good. We good. I don't know if maybe I should have used the other sword. I don't know which would have done more deeps. But, oh yeah, we got some Zavicio. I totally forgot. In Sky Factory, that's like how we got... Ow! Okay, unnecessary. You didn't need to do that. That's pretty rude. Um, I totally forgot in Sky Factory, that's like how we got most of our Zavicio. What is this? Rare Shader Grab Bag? Shader Phoenix. Level Rare can be applied to hold shift. Huh? So it's like a modifier to tools as part of immersive engineering? Is that what it is? I don't know. Anyway, you know what we could do is make a one of those wither generators at some point. Automated wither generators, so we just get lots of Zavicio. Not that I need all the Zavicio. I've kind of gotten my uses out of Zavicio now, now that I have the armor and the Zavicio furnace, which is... Oh! Totally forgot to show you. Totally forgot to show you. Uh, the Zavicio furnace is terrible. It's been completely nerfed. Like, like unbelievably, unbelievably nerfed. Remember in Sky Factory, if you saw that. It used to do like a stack of items per second. It was the greatest thing to ever exist in the history of the universe. Let me show you what has happened to the, the poor Zavicio furnace. Let me just show you how, what a terrible, terrible travesty the thing is. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. Boom, look at this. I mean, by normal furnace standards, that's, that's great, but like, like, you remember, it would just be like, Bzzz. that's the sound effect. Bzzz. I don't know why that's the sound effect for a stack a second, but that's what it is. Oh, it's so disappointing. It's so disappointing. Okay, we got another star. We got our freaking, we got our division sigil that we'll have to activate. But, uh, 
I don't know what the aura of randomness does. Anyway, it's just, uh, uh, but the other thing, the other thing I forgot to mention earlier is that this right here, this allows you to, or this is set to take out cobblestone and then smelt it so that I get a lot of stone so that I can make the whatchamacallits, the, the growth pulsers. So speaking of those, as I was saying earlier, I, I figured we'd just like make a whole bunch of them because, you know, you can never have too many growth pulsers. So it's just, woo! All right, growth pulsers. Pretty great, huh? Let's see, how much stone have we just gone through? Not even that much. Probably about 3,000 stone. Not too shabby. I can get more cobblestone anytime I want because that over there. All right, a lot of growth pulsers. Anyway, we're not going to do it at the moment because I have to plan out the Ian Wither Troll. Okay, it's almost ready. Let me run you through how it's gonna work. So, I've repurposed the command block here that previously teleported Ian way off into the edge of the map to now teleport him into an underground obsidian box that I have created. All I have to do now is cover this thing with the secret pressure plate thing. I'm gonna walk over it. And where do I end up but this little obsidian box? I'll complete it after we're done running through things. Now, right now, I'm standing on some secret player pressure plates once again, and those are on top of some redstone. So check it out if I go below here. See, those are on top of some redstone. So when he teleports and lands on those, sends the signal out over to here, which runs up the chain of redstone torches. Now this autonomous activator here is set to only turn on when there's no redstone signal hitting it. So that means that it's not gonna be doing anything until he lands on the pressure plates. So what I have to do now is I'm gonna finish up the obsidian real quickly, and then the very, very last thing that I'm gonna do is um, is is put the wither skulls on. So let's just check. See, that activates when I stand on the pressure plates. And when I step off, it deactivates again. And so there we go. And so he's gonna teleport and land on those. And then it's got plenty of power. It should be just fine. So let's seal the box real quickly here, except for one little escape hatch that I'm gonna leave myself. And then once that's done, oh man, dude, I can make the builders one now that I have the the division sigil. This is gonna be so great, so I don't have to manually place down blocks anymore. Thank goodness. Okay, so there we go. There we go, there we go. I'll, uh, I'll put a torch, I'll be nice, just so we can see what's going on. I'll like put a couple of torches down in here so that when he, when he spawns in, he's like, what the heck's going on? And, okay, the, the coup de gras. So, we gotta put these two down here. All right, and then we put the final one in there. It's uh, actually, let me, let me show this to you. I figure I may as well demo it before we've completed it. So just to show you that it actually dispenses the skull. So here we go, boom, and then the skull goes down. It's pretty, pretty great, pretty great, pretty great. Uh, I tested it in single player already. The fact that the skull is facing the other way, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, although, just just to make sure that everyone is okay, because I know that if I have the skull facing the other way, there are inevitably going to be some people who are like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I'll face the other skulls the other way, just for you. So let's destroy you. That'd be funny if I Accidentally, okay, there we go. Skull number one and skull number two. Oh, yeah, they have all their different rotations and stuff. Hold on. I'll get it perfectly just so there's nothing that anyone can say is going to go wrong. I know it'll be fine. I tested it, but I don't want anyone to say anything is going to go wrong. So you're there. And now we take the final one. All right, we take the final one and we put it in. God dang it. I'm good at this. <laughs> all right, there we go. Okay, seal it up, place the final one into there, and then as soon as those pressure plates are triggered, that's gonna be a wither. All right, look at all this obsidian. Just when you have the obsidian essence generated from magical crops, basically infinite. Okay, so now I'll just, uh, I'll seal up the hole at the top and everything is ready for action. So as soon as he steps on that pressure plate, Soon as he steps on that pressure plate, it is game over. <laughs> All right, hopefully he steps on it. I, it's, it's like right in the middle of a very heavily, highly trafficked area in his base. So I don't see why he wouldn't step on it, but you know, we'll keep our fingers crossed. So I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up for today. I hope I did you proud with the progress that was made on our base, generating resources and also stepping up the game a little bit as for the troll with Ian, because I think, you know, straight up wither box, that's it's pretty, it's pretty, it's okay, it's okay. 
I'm being nice and I'm giving him the division sigil anyway. So all in all, it works out in his favor. Um, that's about it for now, though. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like if you liked. If you like progress, make sure to like. Uh, catch up on any other episodes by uh, clicking the playlist in the description to see all of them. And then uh, subscribe for more videos in general if you aren't already. So that's it for now. And um, wait to see the reaction. All right. I'll see you next time.